are zippy, making it arguably unsuitable for pedestrian walks or public spaces. The concern is not unfounded. In Singapore, an elderly was actually killed in an accident involving an e-scooter. While my brother thinks it's too fast, I think it's a bit too slow, especially on the roads. I mean, this thing can go up to 15 km per hour-ish, considering that most of the cars travel way faster than that. It makes these e-scooters very dangerous, especially on the road. Furthermore, on top of being really small and mobile, it makes almost no sound. All this will only make it harder for other road users to detect it. And let's not start with how our dynamic road condition is and how it can make it tough for e-scooters with such small tires. One little pothole could spell grave trouble. Also, Another concern with e-scooters voiced by experts and public alike is the fact that there is currently no regulation for it. That means personal e-scooters or other micro-mobility vehicles can be modified to go faster. <laughs> As it is, the government's intention to ban this type of vehicles on the road makes sense. However, the fact that it also says this can be ridden in designated places such as playgrounds or around shopping malls is peculiar. Usually, when one thinks of playgrounds, it will be teeming with kids. And I think that having e-scooters ridden around kids is not a good idea. But is it convenient? Yes, absolutely. I can imagine this being used to facilitate last mile connectivity. Now, if only the government could make it safer for e-riders, I could foresee a better future. One with more connectivity, one with less carbon footprint. <laughs> 